tell you where I'm at right now. I'm in Iowa. I grew up in the Midwest, but then I worked for a large gaming company and it moved me out to Vegas where I've been for the past maybe 13 years total. I've lived there three times. Anyways, I'm back here because I'm trying to get health care help for a syndrome called long haulers, which is a syndrome that does develops after having COVID, which means I think they define it 12 weeks after having the initial infection. You are still displaying symptoms, new symptoms, uh, remissing, remitting symptoms, relapsing. At... Brain fog is certainly one of them. So I'm starting this with apologizing if I'm all over the place, if I slur my words, if I forget what I'm talking about. I'm trying to advocate for COVID long haulers, spread awareness, share my truth, my struggles, my humility, because a lot of long haulers are talking amongst themselves in a private group chat. Why? Because when they speak aloud, they get dismissed. They get judged. We shouldn't have to hide in the closet. Just because we look fine, it's a struggle. So we all need to be encouraged to speak up. Because when we don't, we get dismissed and we're losing our friends and our family and our lives and our health. I've lost my home. I lost my job. I've lost my friends some of my family, I've lost respect for some of them and I'm sure they've lost it for me. But I did gain new support that I'm beyond thankful for. I have no idea why I have a new support system that's not even any kin of mine. So as I proceed to moan and groan, it's not without gratitude for the help I have received. But I'm here trying to find a way to make it, to heal and to survive, and to make it all not in vain. There's a little spiritualness to it all. There's a little truth and conspiracy to it all. But it needs to be talked about. Long haulers experience sometimes up to 200 different symptoms at any given time. I'm almost two years into mine. I've had fatigue, nerve pain, tingling, and numbness. I've had paralysis in my legs and my arms. I've had blurred double vision. When I had COVID, my eye just swelled shut in my face. I thought I had pink eye. I've blacked out. I've had trouble driving. I've lost concentration to drive. I've lost focus. I've lost memory. I misplaced things. I've done really dumb things like put my phone in the fridge. I've done really scary things like driving on the wrong side of the road or walking out of a store and forgetting where I'm at or flying on a plane and almost blacking out with nobody else with me. It's scary and it's real and it needs to be talked about more. I'm on the verge of being diagnosed with POTS, a form of dysautonomia, which is an irregulation of the autonomic nervous system, which is the system that regulates things you don't even have to think about, like your heart rate and your blood pressure, how your body reacts when you move. Sometimes standing up makes me dizzy. When I'm on my feet too long, my blood pools. It has caused a lot of difficulties that many don't see. And I'm tired of being gaslit for it. 
How did I know what that meant? Because I'm also a domestic violence crisis advocate. I know how that feels and I know what it means. And it's not okay. And it's not just COVID long haulers. Many folks with chronic diseases experience the same. So for all of you that have experienced chronic illnesses long before COVID long haulers was a thing, I apologize. Because nobody cares until it happens to them. So not only is this awareness for my COVID long haulers and chronic illness and domestic violence survivors, this is for the whole world to understand that if you don't care about what somebody else is going through, who's going to care when it happens to you? Because will something will happen to you. And if you didn't do the right thing before, don't expect it to be done for you. So I think that's all for now, but don't be a hypocrite. Approach everything with an open mind. Is it Wayne Dyer? He says, be attached to nothing and open to everything. I'm going to leave a few videos below to help you stay calm. Sometimes I do have to listen to meditation, to philosophy, to others, because I have to get out of my head because I'm very passionate. I'm an empath and sometimes it's too much. So if you can't find that place of complete calmness and stillness, it's okay to allow someone else to get you out of your mind. If it's good, it's God. Namaste. Thank you.